You can take a Goan out of Goa, but you can't take Goa out of a Goan. Being from the coastal belt, the smell of fish is like an appetizer for a Goan soul. Visiting the fish market is one of the first to do things when we land in Goa. This is our Panjim fish market. We bought the silver bar fish that day. It was really tasty. Something that we don't get in Dubai. It's monsoon season in Goa now. And these are some of the random days in my life as I'm hardly getting any material to shoot as it's raining really really heavy. Frankly, I am not at all a rain person, so I am always looking out of the window for that one non-rainy day to step out. Our trip to the north of India got ruined due to the incessant rains. Finally found one fine sunny day, so headed out to show the kids some essence of go in life. Especially Sean, since he hasn't seen all this. We decided to go to Divar Island via a ferry boat. A ferry boat carries people as well as vehicles from one bank of the river to the other. It was indeed surreal to be in one after so long. When we do things after a very long time, it feels like just the first time, isn't it? Kids as well as us, we enjoyed the boat ride along with this beautiful scenic view. This is the famous Divar church. The vicinity is so calm and peaceful. And this is the beauty of Amche Goy. As Goan Hindus, we have our Kul Devi or the family goddess. We visit her once in a year to seek blessings as she is our mother and protector. We adorn her with coconuts, piece of cloth, some fruits, rice and flowers.
and on the way back it started raining very heavily and now this is florentine my go and friends watching this know exactly what i'm referring to florentine is a restaurant famous for its chicken kafrial a go and dish recently completed its 38th anniversary i remember eating this chicken since my childhood spicy green gravy on the tender roast chicken aha my mouth is watering No tourist can miss this when in Goa. And a chilled beer to go with it, a perfect Goan delight. another rainy day although i'm not a rain fan but i love the coolness the rain gets with it my husband is a barbecue specialist and this is his monsoon special makeshift barbecue system the indian jugado system basically since lockdown we are a fan of his barbecue nights i marinated the chicken with lemon juice salt red chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder cumin powder garam masala some cheese spread little bit of yogurt and black pepper hot spicy and tangy tender chicken thighs and legs accompanied by the rain was a fantabulous treat morning walks these days is practically impossible due to the heavy rain but this is my favorite road the todda creek i have so many memories of this road lush green fields on both sides is a treat to the eyes One weekend we spent a staycation at Planet Hollywood Resort Goa in South Goa with our dear friends. We relived our old memories, had late night chit chats, giggles and it honestly felt so good. Friendship is life. Ah! 
The beautiful beach of Utorda is attached to this resort. And now look at this beautiful view. Breathtaking, isn't it? Coming up is the new Zuari cable bridge. Feels just like the Whirly Sea Link. Our temple visits continues. We visited the Shanta Durga Kukalkarin temple of goddess Shanta Durga, Fatarpa. Goa has a rich heritage of culture, temples, churches, and so much more. Sean met a new friend, a calf, who was not ready to leave us. Children learned compassion from being with animals, and I love to see him feel so much for the little calf. Next stop was none other than the famous Goan fish thali at Ritz Classic. A scrumptious plate of a full course Goan fish meal. What else can you ask? The plate had all traditional dishes of Goan origin I absolutely love. We also visited the newly constructed Birla temple of Shri Krishna on our way back and this was so beautiful. Thank you all for watching and please do shower your love on me by subscribing to my channel. Take care. See you next time. Bye.